The boss doing what the boss does, rocking out, playing for about three hours tonight. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen's rescheduled show really delivering tonight at the JMA Wireless Dome. News Channel Lines' Kendra Brodus is live outside the dome. Kendra, satisfied fans just coming out, heading home, I assume? Yeah, Jeff, satisfied for sure. People coming out thrilled with the three-hour performance that Bruce put on this evening. And fans like the one that I spoke with earlier who was just excited for this show as he was for his first. Frank Grillo was bit by the Bruce Springsteen bug 50 years ago and never looked back. The first time I saw him was 1973. It cost me $2, Dean Junior College in Franklin, Massachusetts. And I've seen him, I don't know, 20 some odd, 30 times, I lost count. Describing each individual experience of seeing Bruce in concert as intoxicating. Yeah, it's all good. It's, it, he's got so much of a catalog. I mean, was on a good night, he plays, what, 35 songs? So he's got hundreds to choose from. It's just so much fun. Remembering that first concert like it was yesterday. Right, yeah, he only had one album. I only heard one song. And when I saw him, it was the best thing I ever saw. Only five people or six people in the band, and uh, oh, it was just wonderful. First time I heard Rose Alito. It was Labor Day, 1973. A memory so fond. He's chased the feeling for years to come. Just keep rocking, Bruce. You stay out there. You keep coming, we'll keep coming. And even though he's been to dozens of shows, he only has about five t-shirts. But he said that his wife is planning to get one for him tonight. So I hope he got one. Live in Syracuse, Kendra Brodus, News Channel 9.